Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with very interesting SQL problem. And this question is very commonly asked and it was asked in Amazon also for the data engineer position. So here is the question. I will explain the question and comment your answer. And later you, you can check my explanation and solution but comment your answer first. So the question is there are two tables. First table has 5 records and second table has 10 records, right? So there are two tables. Each of the table has just one one column. So for example, this table T1, it has one column, right? So one table has 5 records, another table has 10 records, right? You can assume any values in each of the table. So in each of the table, you can have any any value. You can have all one or all two or one, two values of one, three values of two, anything you can assume. But how many you have to design in a way two tables that how many maximum and minimum records possible in case of inner left right and full outer join right so what values you should keep in both the tables so that we will have maximum number records in case of these four joins right and what values we should keep in both the tables so that we have minimum number records right in each of the table in each of the join right so let's put your answer in the comment box I'm going to explain it now. So let me go to the Excel and I will explain here first and then show you the result. So let's say table one, table one has some records one, two, three, four, five, right? And table two has one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. We have 10 records, right? So table two has 10 records. Now, when I join these two tables, what will happen? This one will join with these two, right? This one will join with these two records. So, two records. This two will join with these two, two records. So, we will have two to two, 10 records, right? So, we will have total 10 records in this case. Now, let's say some of the values are, uh, let's say it is it has only one, one, okay? One, one and two, three, four, five. 2, 3, 4, 5. Now what will happen? This one will join with all of the ones. Right? Again, how many records? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 records. And this 4 will join with 2, 3, 4, 5 will join with 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So again, 6 plus 4, 10. Right? So if you see, if I am going to join one record with one record always, right? We are, we are ending up 10 records. How can we maximize more? So let's say I have one more record, say a one, right? If I have one and one, so this one will join with all of the ones, right? So how many will be there? Six. Then this one will also join with all of the ones. This is how join works, right? Six. And this three, four, five will join with three, four, five, which means three, right? So we have total 15 records now, right? Which means the more cross join I do, the more product join I do, the better it will be. So what if I do all one, 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 right? And this also one, one, one. So each one will join with all of the ones. So we will have 10 records, right? This join will join with all of the ones. Again, 10 records. Similarly, 10, 10, 10, we will have 50 records, right? Five into 10, five records into 10 records. So this is the maximum possible records possible in case of inner join. What if we do left join? In left join also it is same. So because every key is matching, one is matching with everything. So it will be all, it will be again 50 records in case of left join. In right join also, there is no mismatch. Every record will join with every other record. So one will join with all five records. So it will be 50 again. Okay, again in full outer join also, Everything is matching, so it will work as inner join only, so 50 records, right? So, we can produce 50, 50, 50 records maximum if one table has 5 records and other table has 10 records using all of the 4 joins. Let's talk about the second condition when we want to produce a minimum number of records, right? Let's change it to minimum. In case of minimum, we should not have any records matching, right? So, if these are 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, we will say these all are 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, right? Now if I do an inner join, how many number of records will be there? Nothing. Because nothing is getting joined with anything. Zero. Right? Left join. In left join, 
these all records will come right because from the left table everything will come so this will be five records in case of right join in case of right join all the records from this table will come right that's all so it will be 10 records now in case of full auto join what will happen these five records will come from this table and a separate rows this will come in the other table so there will be 15 records okay so this is the answer in all i will just show you in sql server also left right full outer right so this is the max record we can do and this is the minimum record we can do right 0 5 10 15 we cannot have lesser than this right so let's do this let's do this okay in the sql server so i have this table t1 right it has five records and i have another table select star from t2 and this table has 10 records and this is the case of maximum number of records so i will just do an join between these two table okay inner join t2 right on t1 dot id1 equal to t2 dot id2 right and let's see how many number of records are there so we should have 50 records right if you see we have 50 records right we have 50 records that's what we discussed and it will be same in doesn't matter which join we are doing even if i do left join it will be 50 right again 50 records right join also 50 records right see here 50 and full outer join also full outer join this also 50 records right again 50 so it doesn't matter when the all the keys are matching it doesn't matter if it is in a left right or full outer joint let's see the minimum case so i have another table t3 let's start from t3 okay so it has 10 records all 2 2 2 2 2 that's what we discussed so i will use t1 table and instead of this i will use t3 now okay so Again, start from inner join. How many records will be there? Nothing. No, nothing is joining. All records are different. So it will be zero records. Okay. So there are no records, zero records, right? Again, left join, we should have five records because in the left table, we have five records, right? we have five records similarly if i do right so everything from right table will come and we will have 10 records see everything is coming from the right table and it is all null so 10 records in case of full auto join we will have 15 records this is the minimum we can produce so five records coming from this table and 10 coming from this table so total 15 records okay I hope this makes sense. This 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 kind of questions can be asked in our product based companies. So do try yourself, create some data uh, with different kind of values and let me know if you have any other answer. Thanks for watching the video. Please do share with your friends so that they are clear about the joins and have a good day. Bye bye.